Why does the human body wear out and die after about 80 years of life? How can we explain aging on a subcellular level? The answer is in the five primary hallmarks of aging, genomic instability, shortening of the protective end caps on chromosomes called telomeres, epigenetic alterations, loss of proteostasis, and disabled autophagy. Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley. Today, we're going to focus on the last two hallmarks. Loss of proteostasis, or proper balance of proteins, causes accumulation of misfolded and aggregated proteins in cells as you age. Autophagy is the process that your body uses to degrade and recycle dysfunctional proteins and organelles into reusable building blocks. This process also slows down as you get older. We've heard a lot about the, how the human body makes proteins. Just think of the central dogma of biology. DNA is transcribed into RNA, which is translated into proteins. But it's equally important to know how your body degrades and recycles unwanted and dysfunctional proteins. This is accomplished in two primary ways, via proteasomes or via lysosomes. Damaged proteins can be tagged with ubiquitin, which is a special tagging protein, and shuttled to a proteasome for destruction. Alternatively, Larger proteins and organelles are enveloped by membranes and sent to lysosomes for degradation into smaller components. For the most part, this all happens in the cytoplasm of the cell. Your body maintains proteostasis by effective degradation and recycling of damaged proteins. Approximately 400 grams of protein are made and degraded every day in the human body. The half-lives of these proteins range from minutes to many hours. Collagen and crystalline lens proteins are the exceptions lasting for many years. An estimated 1 to 1.5% of cellular proteins are broken down hourly by autophagy. The proteasome is responsible for degrading proteins quickly, allowing your body to rapidly up or down regulate cellular processes by increasing or decreasing quantities of specific proteins. About 80 to 90% of all proteins, typically short-lived, are broken down this way. Proteasomes are mostly found in the cytoplasm but they can be found in the nucleus of the cell. They're very picky and only accept proteins that have previously been tagged with ubiquitin proteins for destruction. A proteasome is a cluster of enzymes grouped together. It is composed of a barrel-shaped 20S subunit and two 19S subunits that cap either end of the barrel. The 19S subunits grab proteins that have been tagged with ubiquitin and bring them to the 20S subunit of the proteasome for destruction. The environment inside the proteasome is highly acidic as the damaged protein moves through the proteasome. Specific enzymes systematically break it down and amino acids come out of the other end of the barrel. These amino acids can then be reused for many purposes in the cell. Autophagy is the other way for your body to break down proteins. This is the general term for any pathway that brings cytoplasmic materials to a lysosome to be destroyed. Autophagy can be triggered by prolonged starvation, exercise, or other physiologic stressors. If you go for several hours without eating, autophagy is activated. When energy stores are low, your cells will degrade non-essential proteins 
into amino acids, which can then be used as fuel or for other purposes. Autophagy is responsible for degrading longer lived proteins and can also break down organelles, proteasomes, aggregated proteins, and invading microbes. Even if you are not fasting, autophagy is necessary for ensuring quality control of protein production in your body. So how does the process of autophagy work? First, in a low energy state, signaling proteins such as AMPK are turned on. AMPK activates specific autophagy related proteins called ATG proteins, which then initiate the process. A double layered membrane starts to form around the unwanted protein. Once the membrane completely surrounds a dysfunctional protein, an autophagosome is formed. The autophagosome travels to a lysosome and then merges with it. A lysosome is a bubble full of enzymes capable of breaking down a wide range of compounds inside the cell. When the autophagosome merges with the lysosome, the unwanted cargo is broken down into its components, whether that be peptides, carbohydrates, or nucleic acids. These building blocks are then released into the cytoplasm of the cell to be used for other purposes. As we age, the rate of protein synthesis and protein destruction both decline, but the impaired ability to destroy misfolded, aggregated, and dysfunctional proteins may even be more detrimental in the long term. Many brain diseases, such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and ALS, are due to loss of proteostasis or protein balance. Proteins aggregate in brain cells, eventually causing them to die. For example, a type of early onset Parkinson's disease is due to a defective autophagy of damaged mitochondria in brain cells. Many interventions shown to slow aging in model organisms, such as yeast, worms, and mice, either directly or indirectly increase autophagy in your body. Examples include dietary restriction and, and drugs such as rapamycin. Hopefully, learning more about the mechanisms of human aging will allow us to develop therapeutic interventions to increase the average lifespan of humans. Thank you for listening. I hope this is helpful for you.